just 100 kilometres north of Sydney in the central coast region of New South Wales, the impressive 1400 megawatt Munmora power station stood for over 45 years. After its closure, Liberty Industrial was engaged to undertake its removal, the largest power station to be demolished in Australia to date. This daunting task involved the removal of the four steam-driven turbo alternators, weighing a combined 4,800 tonnes, two 155 metre high chimney stacks, two boiler houses, coal handling plant and conveyors, and 2.3 kilometres of ash lines. Liberty Industrial carried out the removal of 890 tonnes of bonded and friable asbestos from throughout the site. A crew of 20 specialist asbestos removal workers were mobilised to the project to complete this challenging task. A range of negative air encapsulations were constructed throughout the 60 metre height of the boiler structures, including a highly engineered and detailed access scaffolding and enclosure to access the penthouse at the top of the boiler houses, which included the use of a 300 tonne crane to lift up the required plant and equipment. A full-time hygienist with an on-site lab was deployed to look after the extensive air monitoring and inspection regime required. In 2016, the arduous process of removing the four turbine generators began. A combination of hand-cutting techniques using standard oxytorches, high-flow oxytorches and thermal lancers were used to downsize the massive machines. Weighing 1,200 tonnes each, Liberty was able to remove the generators efficiently by repurposing two existing 90-tonne gantry cranes located within the 270-metre long turbine hall. The generators were then moved to the scrap area for further downsizing. The two iconic stacks were the twin centrepieces of the Munmora coal-fired power plant. During the project pre-planning phase, the project team discovered the presence of asbestos vent conduits at the very top of stacks. And in accordance with strict Australian regulations, these had to be removed prior to receiving approval for the explosive demolition permit. Liberty Industrial deployed its specialist rope access team to climb the stacks and safely core drill and remove the conduits. Liberty Industrial's project team spent many months of careful planning and consultation with a number of government regulatory authorities in the lead up to Demolition Day. Finally, in March 2017, Liberty's meticulously organised and executed controlled explosive techniques toppled the twin stacks exactly as planned. Copy site, 10 seconds to blow down from there. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Firing out. Following the successful demolition of the chimney stacks, Liberty set its sights on the boiler houses and coal hopper structures. This was achieved utilising a combination of controlled explosive demolition and engineered induced collapse techniques. The process involved a carefully designed sequence of structural pre-weakening, followed by the detonation of strategically placed explosives charges to collapse the structure in a predetermined direction. The boilers are the largest demolished in Australia to date. Countdown begins. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, firing now, firing now.
Uh, one minute out from blast. Copy, charge. Give it hell. Countdown commences. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Firing now. Firing now. station's turbine hall was collapsed using controlled cut-and-pull demolition techniques, whereby engineered pre-cutting and weakening was utilised to bring taller structures to ground level for processing. A 120-tonne excavator was used to apply sufficient pull force to induce the collapse. With structural demolition complete, Liberty's job shifted to processing and recycling. Liberty Industrial is committed to reducing waste and maximising resource recovery as part of all of its demolition efforts. Liberty Industrial's 240 tonne Liebherr 994, complete with the world's largest shear attachment, the Genesis GXT2555R, in combination with a fleet of smaller excavators, was put to work, processing the debris for recycling and shipment off-site. At completion, a total of 102,392 tonnes of material had been recycled, resulting in a staggering 98% of all waste recycled by weight being achieved. The removal of the power station was carried out safely, sustainably, on schedule and in accordance with stakeholder expectations. Specialist expertise, meticulous planning and precise execution made the Munmora Power Station Demolition Project, the largest explosive demolition project in the history of Australia, a total success.